are some examples that can help you out with the homework uh, for 3.5. So compound interest, uh, formulas for compound interest. Uh, we know that after t years, the balance A in account with principal P and annual interest rate R in decimal form is given by these two formulas. So for the first one, that's for, for compounding how many times per year? And then for number two, that's continuous compounding. So our first example has to do with continuous compounding. So this is the information they gave you in the book. This is number eight. And it, said, it gives us the initial investment is 750. Our annual rate is 10.5. And then we assume that there is continuous compounding. So in order to do these problems, we need the A equals PE raised to the RT. And so we know that this is our principal, the annual rate. We have to write that as a decimal, so 0 0.105. Time to double. So we're looking for time here. Now to double the initial investment, that's going to be 2 times 750, and that's going to be our A value. And so what that is is 1500. So A is 1500, and we're trying to search for time. So you plug it in you get uh, 1,500 equals the principal of 750e to the point 0, 0.105 times time, and we solve, so divide by 750. To both sides, you get 2 equals e to the point 105t. Take the natural log of both sides. So this is natural log of 2 equals point 105t and divided by point 105. So time is going to be approximately 6.60 years. Then the amount after 10 years, so it's giving us our time. Time is 10, and so we're trying to find A. What is A? So we plug it in. Uh, A equals the principal of 750. Time, uh, times e raised to the rate of 0 0.105 times time. Then you just plug it into the calculator and you would get 2,143.24. Okay, and that's how you do that problem. So you can try this example here. Pause the video and see if you can do it. All right, you've tried this out. The time would have been 6.3 years for to double the investment. And then the amount after 10 years is $1,502.08. Now for the last example, you want to determine the principal that must be invested at rate R. And it's compounded monthly, so that $500,000 will be available for retirement in T years. So compounded monthly, that is our N equals 12. And so we want A equal to be $500,000. We have our rate, 0 0.035, and then time is 15. So if you plug it in, we're going to plug it into this formula. And so we want 500,000, and we want to find our principal of 1 plus 0 0.035. It's compounded monthly, so 12, and then 12 times the T is 15. Uh, so you're going to divide by this um, parentheses here. So make sure, again, when you're plugging it into your calculator that you have enough parentheses so that way it evaluates it the way you want it to. So after you plug that all in your calculator, you will get $296,003.78. Okay, so I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.